A lot of people have wanted me to get to season four. It's such a big thing. We're almost caught up. 25 more episodes to go. This one's called not season four, but Q to the top. I never would have thought I would be here when I started this show. Like, this is so exciting to me. This first episode's called Introductions. I know it's going to be setting up for the amazingness it's going to be this season, but you guys don't know how excited I am for it. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Q Season 4, Episode 1, called Introductions. Before we get into this real quick, I just want to let you guys know that the full-length tier, which is normally only available on Patreon for the first and last episode of every season of every anime we watch, is available to everyone for free. So make sure to check that out in the links below to get that free full-length. Come back here for the review. And if you guys like that format and want to consider keeping it for the future, consider checking out Patreon. The, I, I did end up watching the OVAs in between, like a lot of you guys mentioned, to see to see Nekoma uh, qualify, to see Ukorodani qualify. Sorry, I forgot how to remember the name. And Itachiyama. And then a lot of people told me that I'd forgotten about this barbecue scene when they were done with the training week over in season two. So I did rewatch that. Talking about, I think his name was Kiryu from a different region. And then we have Sakusa, who is the number one ace in Japan who was on Itachiyama. They beat Fukuradani to be the number one qualifier out of Tokyo. Fukuradani was second, and the Nekoma was third. This is insanity. I am so excited. I am so ready. Oh, I'm ready. Remember, if you guys want early access and full length to this show, all the shows I'm watching, make sure to check out that Patreon down below. Always available for you guys. If you guys want to support me and Patreon's not really your thing, if you guys could just leave me a like and a nice comment, it really does help me with the YouTube algorithm. Do not forget to subscribe. If you guys are not subscribed, join that Dapper Squad. Click the bell so you guys always know exactly when I post. And then don't forget to follow me on all my social medias, Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch. I'm almost at a thousand followers on Twitter. Thank you guys so much. Let's hop right on into this though. So excited. Q to the top. Episode 1, Introductions. My boy Kageyama. Three curry buns, deal. Now I want to pause it real quick, because the way the vibes that they're giving us off, it's typical Hinata, typical Kageyama. I love when, obviously I wasn't watching this live, but it must have been at least a year, I think two years in between season three and four, to just immediately get off and to see your boy Hinata, to see Kageyama again, just do typical Hinata Kageyama. They're like brothers, man. I, I, it's just, it has that good, it's kind of like the My Hero Academia first episode. It gets you right back into how things were. Even though I watched the last episode like five days ago, I love this. Okay, first opening of season four. Ooh, standing up with a big gym. New characters, oh my lord, new characters. Garbage, the dumpster battle, I'm so ready. Oh, that's so cool, you have your little sign for your team, your school. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I love that shot. Oh lord, I am ready. Crows fly to Tokyo once again. This for my precious juniors? Hell yeah. Always love the neighborhood association. Always been there. They literally have been there for so many games. How could I always be getting the most surprising phone calls, I swear? Oh, this is, this is just back to when Kageyama is about to be accepted into the national camp, right? Okay, okay, this is just where we left off season three. I love it. Kageyama beat Hinata, right? I remember. Kageyama was the highest, I'm pretty sure. Oh. That's how they are. Gets them all better. Advances them to that next level. Ooh, I love when they do that with Hinata. Man-made wings. Asahi, 
So he just goes higher. Oh. That makes sense why his height increase would be a, a pretty big difference from like someone like Asa, you know. That's an interesting observation from Nishinoya. I like that. Hey, this is where they get the news. Oh. Now he's not on the national team or anything, but it's the it's the camp. So if any if he's gonna get scouted anywhere, it's gonna be there, right? That's amazing. Training camp, nice. That's awesome. <laughs> Ah, I see. So of all these ones, two years from now is when to compete against the world. <laughs> that is so cool, man. That is so cool. <laughs> Yeah, he should. I would agree. I would agree. I love these guys. Only supporting each other. Want the best. There's no news about you, Hinata. <laughs> I love Tsukushima. Tsukushima. <laughs> Oh, I love these guys so much. Yeah, that's one thing. I've, he's definitely S tier, Libero. That's a good point for a specific role. <laughs> Especially for Nishinoi, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But in terms of talent and technical skill, he definitely is national level. Nishinoya is disgusting. I love training camps. Oh, wow. Okay. Only for first years, though. Ah, uh, I knew it. I could see it'd be Tsukushima. Tsukushima is also nasty. He was the MVP in the finals. Hinata is so upset. He's never gonna let that down. You just gotta work harder, Hinata. Only let it motivate you. I know it's frustrating. Definitely is. That'd be amazing quality equipment. That'd be so cool. We can't. Man, the time skips. The pacing is insane. You can tell it is winter time because they're wearing beanies and scarves and stuff. I love the the passing of the time in the show. Yep, I love it. I love it. What's up, Goshiki? It's been a long time, my boy. Oh my God, we got all kinds of people from here. What's going on? And Daichi? What's his name from uh, Date Kogio? What? Did he not so really just sneak in? Are you serious? That because he heard Yamaguchi and them and Tsukushima talking about sneaking in. Are you serious? Let me just see if I have him. Uh, yeah, Kogonagawa is the one from Dr. Kogio. I really like him. Yakuzawa was the the green with the yeah. I remember him. Yeah. No, it's just like I, this is so exciting to me. I love this. That's what I would do. He was gonna sneak into the other one? Hinata's a fucking crazy... He's a maniac. Why not sneak in, yeah. 
I am I I agree with Sugashima. Hinato's crazy. Takuda is like, let me talk to him. I am his teacher. I am his senpai. <laughs> I've never seen him scary, but it's always the calm ones who are the scariest. I get that. I understand. Just like Takara understands. Also, I get that. Shira Torizawa's coach. That's cool that he stood up for him. I gotta talk about the Shira Torizawa's coach real quick. Uh, I forgot who commented it. I always try to remember, but I always appreciate the info you guys give. I was wondering as to why he shot down Hinata's ideals when they were so similar at the time. But first off, to give context, somebody told me that by the time the coach was Hinata's age and in school, hoping to be on the team and stuff like that, at the time there probably wasn't a libero role or, or team spot on the team as a whole. So like the the... The thought of short people in volleyball fighting was just absurd at the time. So that mixed with the just the way the volleyball worked at the time, he had no actual options. So he gave up. But had he had been born in Hinata's time, you know, it could totally be a different story. So I think he shot down Hinata's ideals because, hey, he, he saw it similar to him. And Hinata pushing through it and continuing to fighting would be like admitting he gave up during his life because they're so similar. So I I hope I think he's standing up for him now and I because of that and I appreciate that. It's just so more deep than I thought it was, and I love this show for it. Oh. This is Tachiyama. He's a second year and he's top three spikers in Japan. You're not the only one, Kageyama. Yeah, relax. You guys lost to him. They all have vendettas against him. <laughs> oh, I miss Aone. Yeah, that's why he did. That's why Hinata wasn't originally invited. Makes sense. Just pure powerful in that one aspect. Yeah. Tsukushima's so nasty at blocking. You know, he's the blocker. I get that. I actually would love for these guys to have more interactions, you know? Like I said, I love the matching of ideologies between these guys and how they differed on their past and how it's going to collide right now. I love it. Hey, stand up to the test, Hinata. Stand up and prove him wrong. I am ready for it, man. I'm ready for it. Oh, is this the Olympic gym? Holy shit, does this look nice. He burrito. Oh, he looks dope. Ooh, I like that. They're meant to be shown. Make sure when you're against the world. Hey, it's way more interesting than I thought. I love this show. I've never even seen volleyball before it. Ooh, another new guy. Ooh, the other new guy from the opening. Hey, tell him who you are. Show him who you are. <laughs> He's gonna fight through it. Thank you for having me. I'm not going home. You're not scaring me away, coach. Yeah, there's a little rivalry even here, and I love that. Oh, I love that. Ooh.
So fantastic setup episode gets me also 1 million percent hyped for this season. I love the introduction to some of the characters. We only got to talk to one of the new characters who was Sakusa from Itachiyama, who he seems intrigued that we were able to beat Ushijima because I'm assuming like the powerhouses just all know each other and like, oh, they're good. They're good they're you know, so it's like for someone out uh, under the radar to come out and beat one of them and for him to see Kageyama interesting Kageyama is gen genuinely excited and I'm very excited for him I think this training is like unparalleled like you cannot go out there and get training like this anywhere else this is literally crazy he's playing the best in the country with equipment and technology and coaches that you just can't find anywhere else like oh my god I am so proud of my boy Kageyama that is insane technically like in terms of technical prowess and skill easily he's national level he's S tier he's the king for a reason you know like even Oikawa who has honed himself to be one of the greats over the three years he's played is amazed by some of the technical things that this first year Kageyama can do so it makes sense how in two years when they're picking the representatives under 19 for the national squad the Olympics or whatever it may be that they get these guys in early, see how they fare up, see how they shape up, and just pick the best of the best, you know? Like, like just for example, like even though Ushijima might be better than the Sakusa from Itachiyama in this one aspect, for this specific squad, Itachiyama Sakusa might be better. You know, they just have to they have to find that golden squad that works, you know? So it's amazing that Kageyama's in there. I love their explanation for why Nishinoya isn't in there, because Libero, in terms of skills, he definitely qualifies, but they look for other things there's outside variables such as how you fit into the team stuff like that you know maturity level so makes a lot of sense and for the position libero it's very important to gel well with your team i just still love the fact that uh had tsukushima and yamaguchi not specifically stated that hinata would be arrested for sneaking in there he would have tried that the only reason he didn't go to the olympics that you know the to the national level training camp was because he thought he would be arrested. So he snuck into the other one. That was hilarious. I love the... See, I don't think it was standing up for him. Like, it definitely, it definitely was standing up for him, but I don't think it was, like, full-out protecting him. Like, he wants to test Hinata because it's so... And I love that you guys let me know this because it goes so much deeper. He's trying to say, hey, was I right in my choice of avoiding my pursuit in this... In this I don't want to say useless endeavor, but this uphill battle that's going to be years, you know, it's so hard to be able to do this. Hinata is still trying to do this, but he let him stay and set him up saying, hey, you can leave at any time if it's too hard, but I want to see if I was right in my decision and my ideology, simple is best, don't do anything, you know, like he's testing himself, he's testing Hinata. I think deep down, he, he easily sees himself in Hinata. That's why he asked how tall Hinata was. I love Hinata just brazenly saying, I'm the ball boy. Hinata show you first year. Thanks for having me. Like, he is going to stick through it. They, they had even glares at each other at the beginning. I love how at the beginning of the episode, it went right back to classic Haikyuu roots. Just Hinata and Kageyama having their typical rivalry bromance, having these little challenges for some triple buns and some yogurt and all that and the other. Oh, this nationals is gonna be insane. I love training arcs, especially in high Q, because they're so amazing. Ah, man, I think that's it in terms of my discussion. But I think I, I just want to let you guys know. I'm just scrolling through to make sure I didn't see miss anything. This was incredible. Oh, so excited to see so many new faces, so many games, see so many old faces. I didn't even talk about that. We saw Kunimi, Kendaichi, Hyakuzawa, Kogonegawa, like. We saw Goshiki. Um, I'm trying to remember who. What are the first years did we see? Uh, I love how Goshiki, uh, Kogonegawa, and Kendaichi were specifically like let him stay. I have fucking bone to pick with him because they have their own little rivalry from the past matches. I love that. And Kogonegawa was like, man, the people I want to hype up must be the real deal. I love that. But if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts on this video this episode in the comments down below subscribe if you guys aren't follow me on all my social medias instagram twitter twitch i appreciate you if you guys want early access and full link check out that patreon always available i'll see you guys in this next episode peace out